another subtopic we are going to cover is the digestive system of a bird. A system is made up of different organs. The digestive system of a bird starts from the beak, which acts as the mouth. Then we have the esophagus, we have the crop, we have the proventriculars, we have the gizzard, the duodenum, the pancreas, the spleen, the gallbladder, the small intestine, the large intestine, and finally the cloaca and the cecum. I will talk about each of those organs and start with the beak. The function of the beak is just to pick the food for the bird. It's important to know that the beak contains no enzymes and its work is just to pick the food from the floor and the food slips down to the esophagus and in the esophagus the food is mixed with saliva. The esophagus produces mucus that mixes the food. It's very important to know that the beak does not break any food. So the bird picks the food full and then the food slips down the esophagus, it's mixed with saliva and then the food goes to the crop. A crop is just a storage sack. It is whereby here just a small digestion takes place. So all the food has come from the floor to the beak, the esophagus, it's only mixed with water. A little bit of starch is digested in the crop and some proteins are, pro some proteins are also digested in the, in the crop. And the food is totally mixed with saliva. Remember the salivary grads of the chicken do not contain any enzyme. Until the food reaches the crop, that's where now the digestion, a small digestion takes place. The wet food is now slipped down to the proventriculars. I said that those two organs, the crop and the proventriculars, are just available in the buds. It is here whereby the proventriculars produces the hydrochloric acid, the pepsin and the trypsin. So majority of the digestion takes place in the proventriculars and the food takes about one hour and it is totally mixed up with the saliva and the hydrochloric acid. So at this time, we are moving acidic food pro from the proventriculars to the gizzard. It is very, very important to note that the gizzard is the true stomach of the bird. It is in here whereby the contraction and the relaxation of the muscle occur so that the food is now mixed up with the enzymes that are produced by the duodenum. Everybody knows that the duodenum and the spleen have now sensed that this food that has come to the gizzard and they will produce the amyletic, the prolytic and the amyletic enzymes that are now capable of digesting food. So we have now food that is being digested ready for assimilation. The gizzard also contains some figure-like productions called the cowling which help now to break down the food that had entered through the beak without being broken down. Remember that when we got the food from the trough, we did not break anything. And when the food went to the crop, there was no breaking down. It went to the proventricular, there was no breaking down. So anything that 
needs to be broken down is broken down by those figure-like projections that are found in the gizzard. It also works as a sieve, removing all the hard particles of the food and putting them aside. So anytime you slaughter your chicken, you, are, you find that you will find some sad or any hard object that the, the bird was not able to digest. The fully digested food is now sent to the small intestines. As I talked, I said that the duodenum and the pancreas have released enzyme, but I did not talk about the enzyme called lipase. It's very important to note that the bird does not produce the enzyme lipase because we, the bird is not supposed to eat anything that is of any milk value. So don't let your birds feed on milk because they do not have the enzyme to digest the milk. Once the food has been sent to the small intestine, more, dig more, um, more enzymes are produced and food is broken down and what is assimilated into the system is assimilated very quickly and the rest of the feed is sent to the large intestine or the colon and water is absorbed into the body and nitrogenous products sent back to the food and then the food is removed. The wasted food that is not assimilated in the body is removed as feces and also uric acid. Remember that the bird does not urinate. So all the nitrogenous waste is converted into the uric acid and comes out through the anus as the uric acid, the white substance that you find on the feces of the bird. So everything, the uric acid and the feces, which is the food that has not been digested into the body of the, animal, of the bird, goes down as waste. Remember the time taken for the all this digestion is only six hours. So the food must be nutritious enough so that at the small intestine as much nutrition, as much nutrients are absorbed for the productivity, for the carcass formation of the body. If you feed your animal of your bath with less nutritive products, Nothing will be absorbed because it needs to be very effective and waste a lot. So if you find that your bird is wasting a lot, of, mm, a lot of food, it means that there is very little nutrient that is able to pick. The bird is disadvantaged again in the digestion system on that it takes a very short time and then does not produce lipids enzyme, does not produce hemicellulose and does not produce does not produce any cellulose to digest the fiber. So you have to be very careful when you're feeding your bird. Control the amount of fiber that you're feeding to your animals because it's only at the cecum where small microbes are found and they try their best to digest as much fiber as possible. That's why whenever we are formulating feeds, for a poultry, we should minimize the amount of fiber that you are giving to the bird because of that limitation. All, if you want to feed fiber onto your bird, remember there are also synthetic enzymes that are available in the market. You can add onto the feed to help in the digestion, but otherwise the bird in its natural form is not able to digest a lot of fiber. So be very careful, maintain less than 7% crude fiber in your feed that the bird will pick as much nutrients as possible and within that six hours that it has been provided for digestion. Once the food comes from the mouth, it slips down into the esophagus and then the food of the bird is stored in a, in a sack, which we call the crop. It's very important to note that only in birds are you going to fight the crop? And the reason why the birds have a crop is because the food that comes, when the beak picks the food, it just picks maybe one or two pieces. And that two pieces now slips down into the esophagus and down to the crop. So it acts as a storage waiting for the rest of the small beast to come. 
because it's not like human or the ruminants that when they grab a whole mouthful of food, they will swallow that food and that food can be, can contract and expand in the stomach. It's so little that it has to wait for the last, the other bit that is coming, the third bit, the fourth bit, until when the crop is full, that all the food is sent now to the proventriculars. It's also important to note that no breakdown of food happens in the crop. There's very small digestion that takes place in the crop. There's total mixing of the food with the saliva. And then the food, the starch part of the food is slightly digested. And some microbes work on the food that they can be able to digest. And because it takes a very short time, all the food is sent now down to the proventriculars whereby the, f the food fights hydrochloric acid, the pepsin, and the trypsins. Now, all the food that has come from the crop, the wet food that has come from the crop, is mixed with the hydrochloric acid. So, if you, if you cut the proventriculars of the bird, you find that it has a, a lining of the mucus. It is because the food that dishes that organ of the bird is normally acidic. So that's the reason that there is a wall of mucus that surrounds the whole proventriculars. After the food has been subjected to the pepsin, trypsin and hydrochloric acid, the food is sent down to the true stomach of the bird, which is what we call the gizzard. When the food has been received at the gizzard, the little, organ, the little organ called the brain of the bird has said that the food has been sent to the, to the gizzard and the gallbladder now releases the bile to work on the fatty acids that have been available in the food. So the gallbladder releases the bile, the bile works on the fats, and then the pancreas now have realized there's food in the stomach and the duodenum also has realized that now there's food in the gizzard and then they will start now releasing the enzyme, the amylytic enzyme, the prolytic enzyme, the peplytic enzyme, all the enzymes are now released into the true stomach. In the true stomach, the food, the muscles, because the gizzard is made up of thick muscles, the muscles expand and relax as the food is ground. Remember also this organ, the gizzard, also has figure-like projections that are called the cowling. And their work is now to break down any food that has come in big particles. Like when the chicken feeds on a whole piece of maize, it needs to break it down. So all these big particles are broken down by the figure-like projections. Once those organs, those, that food has been worked up by the, the, by, the, by the enzymes that are produced from the spleen and the gallbladder and the duodenum, the food is now sent to the small intestine and the work of the small intestine now is now to absorb all the nutrients that have been brought down. Because at the small, at the gizzard, we have gotten rid of all the particles that were not, they were not, they were not, the, the figure-like projections were not able to digest. So all the stones, the sad, anything hard, not, not digestible, they have all been left in the gizzard and all the food that has been properly digested worked on by the by the by the enzymes is sent now to the small intestine for assimilation that's when now all the nutrients that the body the animal requires or the body requires is absorbed into the system the nutrients required for reproduction are assimilated into the body the nutrients required for growth are assimilated into the body and sent to the different organs and then after all the absorption have taken place the waste is sent now to the large intestine before the food gets in the large intestine then there's a place 
between the small intestine and the, sm and the large intestine, there's an organ called the cica. Or in singular, we say the cica. There are two organs, but work the same. In the cica, it's one, only one activity takes place there. The cecum produce, is full of microbes that works on the fiber that has been brought from the food trough that the bird fed on through the trachea, through the esophagus, into the crop, into the gizzard. And so that it doesn't go out as waste, the microbes now works on the fiber. And because it takes about five minutes for the microbes to work on the fiber, it is very important that you don't feed your bird on a lot of fiber because there's very little time for the microbes to work on the fiber. After the fiber has been, the fiber has, the fiber has been worked on, the food is sent back to the small intestine for assimilation and it combines with the less of the food that had come from the gizzard are sent to the large intestine for now absorption of water. All the water that has come, all the saliva is now absorbed in the, in the large intestine and the waste combines with the nitrogen that has been produced in the body and comes out as uric acid. Remember that the bird does not urinate, so all the water is converted into nitrogen and the wasted water is now converted into uric acid at the, at the large intestine and sent out as the feces. So whenever you see a bird dropping out the feces, you'll find that it has a whitish substance. That means there was nitrogen wasted and formed into uric acid and now it's a waste. So. The reason why people talk about the improvement of the lower gut, when, when, whenever you hear people talk about we need to work on the lower gut, it is because the lower gut is the cecum or the, the cecum whereby we have microbes. We need to work on the microbes. If microbes are happy, so the digestion of the fiber is going to occur properly. But if you have infections like of bacteria, they will work on the microbes, resulting to depletion of the microbes. Hence, the digestion of the fiber at the lower gut of the, of the pottery does not occur well. And remember, if the microbes do not work, it means that that bird is going to lay to give out feces that are wet because all the food that has been absorbed had fiber and when, when the absorption of the water was going to occur in the large intestine there was so much water and the fiber the fiber you know absorbs water so all the water amount of water so only a small amount of water is absorbed into the system and then the rest comes out whenever you find your bird is giving wet feces look at the lower gut maybe you're not feeding your animal well or you're giving it a lot of fiber so it is not able to have to, get, to absorb as much water. It's also important, there are chemicals that are available in the market, like the metabolized yeast. They are food for the microbes. And you feed the microbes of the bird. If you mix those micro, uh, if you feed those metabolized yeast into the system of the animal or the bird, the, the microbes are going to be happy. They are going to multiply in big numbers. And the digestion at the lower gut is going to be better because the population of the microbes has increased and the fiber digestion is okay.